Guys, I'm here. I'm here to tell you about the December Beauty Heroes box. I was not sure I was going to be able to have this up. I know I probably sound really annoying at this point because I'm like constantly telling you how I have no time, but I'm here making it happen. I would rather like call in sick to work or get up at five in the morning to film a monthly Beauty Heroes review than forego it. So today we're going to be talking about the December Beauty Heroes box featuring the lovely Ayurvedic brand Couscous. This brand is a new discovery to me. I had never tried anything from the range. I did take note when Beauty Heroes started carrying them earlier this year. Didn't really know much about them until they showed up in the box. So the Hero product this month, actually are these co-heroes? No. Hero and a sidekick. Hero product this month is the Couscous Modern Herbal Fusion Blue Body Wax. This is what the packaging looks like. And if you saw my recent favorites video, you will already know that this is hero product for me. So this is what the um, body wax looks like, which we'll get into, obviously. I've already made such a huge dent in it. The sidekick is the Sans Age Face Serum, a face oil. I think it's been a while since Beauty Heroes has done a face oil. So the total value of this box, I think is 116, if I'm not mistaken. The Hero product um, body wax retails for 68 and the face oil retails for 78. Oh, actually, sorry. This is a 30 mil bottle, which is 48. The full size 50 mil is 78. So we're getting a 30 mil bottle. That's like a lot. So I feel like that's still quite a bit of product. So I had the pleasure of getting to hear from the founder of Couscous herself on the recent Beauty Heroes a brand ambassador call from, I don't know, I think it was like late October or November. Christy Bluestein, founder of Couscous. In the little Beauty Heroes insert, they say after five plus years of travel, study, and practice, Christy Bluestein earned certifications as an Ayurvedic health practitioner, master herbalist, aromatherapist, and yoga teacher. But she sort of had her aha moment during her morning abhyanga routine. Now, abhyanga is something that I've been interested in for probably the last like 10 years. I've been very interested in Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine since, I don't know, I sort of get started getting interested in that stuff in like the mid 2000s, I would say. Ayurveda in particular, I know more about Chinese medicine because I've been seeing an acupuncturist for so long. I would love to see a really, really good Ayurvedic practitioner. I would love to have some Ayurvedic body work done. I'm sort of self-taught in what I know about Ayurveda, but Abhyanga, and you know, they do like professional Abhyanga massages at the Kirpalu Institute, which is in Western Massachusetts in the Berkshires. And I'm thinking about maybe sometime this winter taking a little trek out there and um, seeing what Kirpalu has to offer and what those services are all about. But anyway, if you don't know what Abhyanga is, it's a, a method of self-massage using warm oil traditionally. And it's in the spirit of something like dry brushing or anything that's going to stimulate sort of lymphatic drainage and movement in your system. Really, really good sort of self-care technique. Uh, it's a little time intensive to do every day, but when I personally take the time to use Abhyanga techniques. Um, in particular, I have been feeling more inclined to do so now that I've had this in my life. And I think that that's kind of the whole point or what they're sort of hoping to instill by including this and talking about Abhyanga is that people will feel more inspired to incorporate that into sort of their daily routine, semi-daily routine. So in addition to kind of that being the philosophy, the formulation and the ingredients that she uses are sort of very deeply rooted in herbalism and plant medicine and sort of vibrate the vibrational healing of plants. Um, I think those are my words, not hers. It says here, Christie's unconventional interpretation of plant medicine led her to create couscous a unified holistic line of hybrid philosophies rooted in the fundamental belief that botanicals work within the body, through the bloodstream and nervous system to deliver specific results as well as broad benefits. So in the blue body wax, it's in a base of coconut oil and there is some beeswax in there as well to kind of give it that really nice texture. Blue tansy, blue yarrow, babassu seed oil, baobab seed oil, marula oil, and some non-GMO vitamin E. In terms of the face oil, 
This is Heli Chrysum Blue Tansy German Chamomile uh, Rose Hip Sea Buckthorn Marula Baobab Argan Oil and the same non GMO vitamin E. Um, mostly everything in these are certified organic and sustainably wild harvested. I think everything is micro batched. I think she might be based in Colorado, but I'm not exactly sure. Jeannie chose to feature this line as she feels that it's very special within the couscous range. This is the blue line. The Tiare Gardenia mixed with blue tansy results in something that's just very unique. And the concept of having a body wax I think is also very unique. So for Beauty Heroes to feature body care products they have to be like pretty singular and stand out in a lot of different ways as you know the Line activated body charcoal was one of the first in a long time body care products that they had featured um, so here's another one and i love that in both of those boxes they've paired a body care product with a skincare product because i think some of the feedback that Beauty Heroes customers had been giving was that like body care only boxes were not favorites. You know, there was a time when there was sort of an onslaught of face oils. So I think the curation um, is just reflecting how incredibly responsive Beauty Heroes is to the community and thoughtful feedback. And I think they really hear and listen to that. Yeah, I love that they're now sort of pairing a really standout body care product with, you know, beautiful skincare products to add into your rotation. Okay, now it's my moment to gush with how much I love this product. I mean, you can see there's a hair in there. Have I used a quarter of it? Maybe not quite. I mean, it's a pretty big jar. I have literally been wanting to reach for nothing else since I have had this in my life. Okay, first of all, the concept of a body wax I think is incredibly unique. I've never tried a product like this. It's basically a balm for your body. Um, I don't know if you'll see, it does sort of um, melt into an oil consistency like right on contact with your skin as it starts to warm up, but it sinks in very beautifully. So my technique for using this is, and I have done like a little bit of trial and error with it. I have been falling prey, initially I was falling prey to using a little bit too much. I would say you need, I would say less is more. You, I would say like take two fingers and kind of scoop it out because um, it's going to melt and spread more than you probably are going to think that it's going to. So start with less and you can always um, add more obviously. So the sort of general technique, and I, I think they're gonna have a blog post and things like this um, detailing the Abiyanga technique a little bit more. But the way that I do it is I just take some product, kind of distribute on my arms, and then I just kind of massage up in long strokes up my arms and then you kind of want to work down your neck um, get really get into the glands that are under your armpits um, around the breasts you kind of want to move everything um, into the center towards the heart I'll do kind of like a little light abdominal massage inwards and then kind of around the groin and the lower back I have not yet used this on my legs um, you definitely could I tend to switch to a body lotion oil emulsion for my legs but I will sort of if I'm doing an Abiyanga-esque routine at night I will kind of still try and incorporate those long strokes and I'm telling you if you take the time to do this um, it's different than just kind of slapping moisturizer on your body. You feel the movement, you feel um, the limbic system kind of responding to that sort of stimulation, and then you end up just feeling quite relaxed. Um, at least I do. The other thing I want to mention about this that's so noteworthy, sort of foreshadowed this when I talked about it in uh, my last favorites video. This is one of those products and I've only experienced this, I don't know, I mean I can count on one hand the number of products I've sort of felt this way after using. I've had this moment, like the first, within the first two or three times of using it, where, you know, I used it and felt great and then I was just kind of relaxing or lounging, what have you. Maybe two or three hours later, it's not even like the way that the product smelled on my body, although it was that, which is incredible. The scent does linger on the skin in this really beautiful way, but it's more like getting that scent 
whiff on your skin re-triggers your system to uh, sort of remember how good it feels. That's a horrible articulation for what I'm trying to say. This all sort of clicked for me when I was having coffee with Marissa from Precious Skin Elixirs two weeks ago because I have experienced it with her body oil as well. And we talked about how it's almost like your body starts to entrain with certain products. <laughs> I think in my favorites video I said enter into like a communion with them. And I think what's happening is that the plants are the plant medicine that goes into these formulations is sort of communicating with your cells and I've experienced that same feeling with Max and Me Circle of Protection, Precious Skin Elixir Citrine Body Oil, um, to some extent with the Laurel Body Oils although I haven't used them enough uh, to really get that sense and then some of Virid Organics products I've felt that way about as well and I think that feeling of kind of like resonance um, with the product is the plant medicine at work. Um, communicating with your cells, healing, relaxing, creating movement, and it's just a, it's a beautiful experience. I'm kind of like getting chills talking about it. As soon as I, I had that experience with this, I was like, oh, I get it. Like, I get why this is special. I get on this very visceral, sensory level, um, the healing power of plants and the expertise of someone that can really work with them at this very, very refined high level to create a very healing formulation. That's kind of what I have to say about it. I think it's absolutely spectacular. Um, I'm very curious to try her body oils now. I'm very curious to try the face toners that she does. I think they're called Hydrolots. I think she might do some other body waxes, which I would be very interested in trying once I'm out of this, but the scent of this is, it's very like fresh. It's not really like very floral but kind of it makes me think of the ocean it has a very kind of like cool not really meant it's not mentally at all but there's like a a cooling quality to it which I think is very interesting describing these senses like so difficult I would love a laundry detergent that smelled like this like it's like your sheets to smell like this, your, you know, pajamas to smell like this. I think that that's a pretty sufficient gush on this product. And I would love to hear your thoughts on in training with products and going into entering into cellular communion with products. So let's move on to the face oil. Um, I've been using this interspersed with other things in my routine, namely um, Stark's face oils and the Skin Owl <sighs> Maki Berry Drops. Those have been kind of my main face oils of late. Okay, let's just say chamomile in skincare is not my personal favorite scent. The Maya Chia Super Couple, I believe, also had chamomile in it. And it's just not, it's not my personal favorite scent profile. Now, this oil is sort of like a very, you won't be able to see it like on my hand at all, but um, it's a very light face oil. I would say it's very, very quickly absorbed um, because of the oils that are in here. They're very like lightweight oils, like the Baobab and the Babasu and the Argan as well. Um, so I think it's a perfect daytime face oil. To be honest with you, it kind of reminds me of like what dried pasta smells like. I know that that's like a very weird thing, but that's like the first thing that I think of. I do find it to be a very calming face oil. I was really liking trying this in the morning to just kind of prep my skin for the day. I personally needed um, a little bit more moisture at night, although if you were to layer a balm or like the Iuna cream or something over top, I think it would work for drier skin types. So I think that's a, it's nice to include a face oil that's not too heavy, that way people that are drier skin type can layer other products over top and people that are more oily and combo have a nice lightweight very easily absorbed face oil it's light but it's not like overly greasy so for example something i'm thinking of something like the lena hansen global face also a very like light not very viscous the sort of thick sludgy type of face oil which i, I personally like those kind of face oils this thicker sludgier ones. This, that one um, is a little bit more oily and it just takes a little longer to absorb. This one is very, very kind of lightweight, quickly absorbed. Um, it actually, to be honest with you, it does remind me quite a bit of Maya Chia Super Couple, I guess in terms of the consistency and a little bit the scent, although the scent is definitely sort of more layered and complex in this one. It's just packed full of like really amazing ingredients, I think. I would love to hear people's thoughts on this if they're enjoying 
enjoying using it. It is this like sort of very, very beautiful sapphire color. Really quite, um, quite stunning. So I think the pairing of these as sort of complementary products from the blue line is just a really, I, it also seems very fitting for December for some reason. It might be that sort of light sapphire blue color. If you would like to pick up this month's box either for yourself or to give a Beauty Heroes gift, gift subscription, I always have links down below in the description bar should you choose to shop through them. Let me tell you about some new things in the store because I was scrolling through this list uh, yesterday and I was like, yes, mama wants. <laughs> They're now carrying the herbal infusion oil and active infusion serum from Josh Rosebrook. There's apparently a candle from Kahina. It's $69, but it looks so pretty. I was like, should I get that? <laughs> I think I, I really, really want it. They're carrying a sort of a boxed set of the Ayuna products called the Ayuna Minimum Sets. They are now carrying the Cary Gran Essential Balm. I think those boxes, by the time you're seeing this, are going to be sold out, but in case they are not, I will have a link down below for that holiday beauty discovery with the balm and the tinted lip whip. Several kits from Ursa Major, the Exercise Freak Kit and the Mr. Shave Kit. Au Natural Brow Boss Brow Pencils and some starter kits. I think it's like samples of the um, little powder foundation. Okay, now this is the thing. In addition to the Kahina candle, Lil Fox now has an after dark cleansing balm. Like as soon as I saw that, I was like, want. So I'm sort of toggling between adding the candle or the cleansing balm into um, an order that I'm about to place. Uh, they're also carrying Evermint Soap from Osmia, which sounds beautiful, and they're also carrying the deodorant from Vapor. I saw Sherry Stroh, who's a Canadian makeup artist who I were Instagram friends, and I just, I think she's so amazing. I love her. She was uh, posting about the uh, Vapor Next Level deodorant. She made me really want to try it. I did give them a whiff when I was in Credo. There's a Credo on Newberry Street in Boston now. And I, I thought I was gonna like this Palo Santo deodorant and I, I didn't love it. Um, I did really like the lavender myrrh. So they do like a ginger grapefruit, lavender myrrh, and blood orange Palo Santo. And the lavender myrrh was the one that I thought was really nice, surprisingly. The Love More promotion for December is going to be a deluxe sample of the InnerSense Hydrating Mask, which I'm excited about because I think I'm definitely going to place a Beauty Heroes order this month. I have kind of been wanting to incorporate a hair mask into my routine. I don't need it per se, but I think it would be fun to have. There's going to be a blog post interview with the founder of Couscous, Christy. Um, I wanted to read it before this video, but it just hadn't gone live in time. I love reading, a, you know, from the brand founder's own words. She was super lovely on the brand ambassador call and this box has just made me so curious to try um, more from her range. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. I hope that you all are having um, a wonderful December so far. It is a pretty magical time of the year. In spite of shopping mania and I don't know, I know the holidays can be complicated for a lot of people. They are complicated for me, in fact. I did kind of want to like make some Instagram stories or something about how you know, I just, I think the holidays can really trigger a lot of issues um, for people if you have lost family members, if you have ill family members, if you are ill yourself, if you are not near family, if you're at a stage in your life where you're not surrounded by like a vibrant community of people. I have been through all of these things and something no one, you know, no one ever really talks about this um, a lot. And so I don't know why I'm bringing it up now, except to say that if you're having a difficult holiday season, I totally feel you. I hope that there are still some moments of joy amidst anything you might be struggling with. Just know that you're not alone. Please hop over to Patreon if you would like more L'Amour. Um, I publish bonus content, exclusive content, just more things, more things for people that are interested in um, the kind of content that I produce. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.